self-consciousness. Notice where your consciousness resides. Are you dwelling in egoic self-identity? There is nothing wrong with this self-centered preoccupation, dear ones, as it has been your earliest conditioning and orientation. But what you need to notice and ponder is the possibility that this is neither a true nor a useful orientation. It is not true that your being is centered in the self. Indeed, no part of that concept is true. Because you cannot possibly glimpse the whole You've been stuck staring into one false mirror. I must be the center of it all. But have you any power to make the sun come up or the rain fall? Can you understand the true nature of things? Do you know what abides eternally and what will soon be dust? Is the flower in charge of its destiny? Or the fox? There is no joy or peace, dear ones in self-sufficiency. You've been fed a pack of lies. It goes so far back. But let us not consider that now. Let us, finally and at last, begin to see who we are and who we really are. Our ancestry is so much more glorious when we consider, even for a moment, our origins. Cosmic music. Starburst. Vast intergalactic dreaming. and the urge and urgency of a force beyond any name of love. A force whose name we speak only within silent wonder or mute ecstasy. Here, is where the human form takes shape within an unfathomable cosmic dance. Let us not keep clinging to these binding garments of egoic consistence. Let us lay down such childish games. Lean back. Open your breath into the belly. Wide and wide again. Breathe and surrender. 
picture all of the egoic concerns of this life as leaves that must be loosed from their moorings at this time. Release them. For the world cannot go on unless you do these things.